Okay, I'm in the van, Delamere train station. It's nine o'clock on Monday night. All I'm going to do is a, uh, a simulated bivvy on the top of Old Pale. So I've got all my spine gear with me. I'm going to go up there, unload it, try and get my bivvy bag and my sleeping bag. Maybe make a, a cup of tea, see how it goes. And uh, if it's not too bad, I might even try and go to sleep. Otherwise, I'll be packing up and come back to the van pretty soon. Now, it is quite frosty outside. I did have to chip the ice off the van before I set off tonight. So it's not going to be toasty up there. But um, hey, could be like a real life simulation for next month on the spine. Bring it on. So, I'm walking up Old Pale. Well, I was running, a lot of stuff to film. Um, I keep asking myself, why have I picked tonight to do this? Well, I didn't really pick tonight. I was going to come for a run anyway. And uh, I was a spur for the moment. Oh, why don't I bivy on Old Pale tonight? Yeah, it's just like you do. Oh well. As you can see, the ground's nice and frosty tonight. So, this is me for the night. Oh well, maybe it's an hour. <laughs> See how it goes. I don't know whether I'll actually blow this up on the real thing. I've managed to get my bivvy bag out, sleeping bag, I've blown my mattress up, I've got it inside. Um, I'm going to take my shoes off. I think I need to put them in my carrier bag with my rucksack. But I should have brought a bigger carrier bag, bigger bin bag. Oh well, I know for next time that the household bin bags just aren't big enough. Gloves, keep them safe. Put them in there. Shoes. Shoes off. In we go, in we go. Oh. Woo. Oh, no. Well, here we am at the top of Old Pale, testing my bivy kit out. It's a bit cold up here. <laughs> but uh, I've got a nice cup of tea coming up, just to warm me up a bit before I try and get some sleep. Let's see how long I last. Good night. I didn't fetch a spoon. This will do just fine. Well, I've got my cup of tea. There's no milk, no sugar, but it's hot, it's wet, and it's lovely. I've got a great view of the whole of Merseyside. Well, I slept for an hour or so, um, and now it's time to go. It's two o'clock in the morning, and as you can see, I'm back at home in my nice warm house in my kitchen. But um, I never thought it would last the full night. It lasted a couple of hours, so not too bad. And I learned lots of stuff. So, I'll have to do it again though.